Okay, let's work on Excel one. Excel one. So what we have is we're gonna assume to buy an automobile. So it can be used new whatever those car out there you're gonna buy. Okay, so uh, while you're buying it, typically uh, what you wanna have is a loan borrowed, right? So you're gonna have a lender. So that's what we have. So here's I uh, put it for you, and this is not actually absolutely you must have. It's not like that. Uh, this is just give you a kind of uh, example. So you can go to sideways, or you can go vertically. It really doesn't matter. The layout is fine as long as you accomplish those steps. Okay. So here's what we have. Uh, here's uh, uh, some subtitles. For example, automobile to buy. I chose Tesla. Model Y from Tesla.com. Price is more like 30, 39000 and above. And I chose three lenders. So lenders really doesn't matter whether it's online, offline, credit union banks really doesn't matter as long as you can find interest rate okay interest rate doesn't have to be absolutely correct it's not the point of this exercise you find a interest an interest it doesn't matter if you couldn't find it you can reach even a random uh, interest rate but I think you better go ahead uh, look for those lenders and come up with interest rate. So with those three interest rate for each of those lenders, I'm gonna find monthly payment. So I laid out again so that we can enter a formula to find a monthly payment. So we have three different periods, 36 month, 48 month, 60 month. Okay, so that's the typical uh, periods that you're looking for so this row here is corresponding to first lender second area that's for the centrist third area i'm highlighting that's for the pen fed credit union so let's enter pmt function so you're going to start from equals always minus pmt why because uh as a default, PMT will return negative. So what people do is usually uh, enter minus in the beginning of a PMT function, or you can just multiply by uh, negative at the end. Either way will work. So what, what I'm going to enter is I'm going to enter D7, which is which is the uh, interest rate for the Ameris Bank, right? 5.5%. Then you divide by 12. Why? Because we are doing monthly payment. If you're doing monthly payment, you need to divide by divide the interest rate by 12. Okay, so that's the point here. However, I think I made a mistake here. If you took BUSA 2010, which is a microcomputer application, which is Excel, Oh, you know how to use, you suppose know how to use dollar sign for what we call absolute cell reference. So that column D will fix as you copy to other cell. However, seven, which is row number seven, will remain, uh, remain relative, meaning that it's gonna go up to eight, nine, 10 as you copy further down. All right, so if you don't understand, absolute cell reference you can always uh, look for help on excel then comma then i'm gonna enter the total number period which is 36 so however we don't enter raw number right in excel you always try to use cell reference which is in this case f6 36 is located in f6 Right? So rather than just type it in, you, again, you better use just 
you better just click the sell, right? Because you always chance you're gonna make a mistake. Uh, again, we I'm gonna need to enter dollar sign to six, so that six would not change to seven, eight, nine as you copy to other cells. However, F will be changed to G, H, I, whatever those next cell that you're gonna copy to. All right? Uh, anyway, F6, which is 36, comma, then you're gonna enter the the uh, present value or loan amount. In this case, automobile price, which is located in C4. So C4 also must be fixed. So I entered uh, dollar sign to C and four. So that's what I have. And I'll have $1,204 in change. That's the monthly payment for 36 months. Then all I have to do is just autofill, right? Autofill go downwards. Then once you have that downwards, then I'm gonna just autofill to the sideways. However, this you know always chance you could make a mistake, so I'm gonna just manually check whether I have the right, the correct formula. So D7, yeah, the five by twelve, and G6, which is forty-eight month. Yep, C4, which is the car price. It looks like fine. Okay, so that's the first section of our calculation. Okay, second calculation while looking is I uh, set up for lowest monthly payment. So among those nine different scenario, which one has the lowest amount? Right there, right? 715 for interest because it's got 60 month period of loan. Right? So that's what I pick up here. And idea is I want to increase. I want to increase the loan period by one year, which is 12 months, right? So that'll give us 72 months. So using this new scenario, I'm going to find monthly payment using PMT again. So start with equals minus PMT. Interest rate divided by 12, right? So that will give you our first variable. The second variable after come out will be number of period. I mean, number of, number of month in this case, which is 72, right? So I'm gonna just click that, come. Then automobile price, which is located in C4. That's it. So this is the new monthly payment assuming you're going to increase the loan period by one year then you're going to end ending up paying six hundred four dollars instead of seven hundred fifty dollars right a little bit more than one hundred dollars you can save by increasing one year so that's what we're looking at right there all right so next steps that we need to go through is we're going to locate again this time the highest monthly payment in my case the highest monthly payment is located actually right there right right 1200 so i think there's a typo 1204 82 for 36 months. Okay, so with that, uh, what we try to do is next, we're gonna find total amount paid for the loan. So how are we gonna find it? Right there. So you take the monthly payment which is the uh, 36 months for a Maris Bank. Then, <coughs> excuse me. Multiply by 
36, which is located in F6, right? So that's what we have. So that will give us total amount paid for the loan. And the other item that we need to do is we are interested to find the difference between this total amount you're supposed to pay and loan amount. The initial loan amount was 30, 39900 right? However, you're ending up paying $43,373. So a lot of you know interest involved. It could be charges if it's actual, you know, or different scenario. But anyway, we we'll want to assume the difference is just interest. So what we're going to do is just take this, I mean, take this and subtract from the total amount. So that's why we have B15 minus C4. B15 is right there, the total amount we found, and automobile price is right there. So that's why you got $3,473. That's the difference between these two numbers. Right? And there's one more thing we need to do. Now, we know the interest amount you're supposed to pay is 3473 but we want to confirm this. Okay, there's such, again, always chance you're going to make a mistake, especially in the spreadsheets, right? So to confirm this number, we decide to use a Excel function, which is CUMI PMT cumulative interest payment. So C-U-M-I, P-M-T. So as you can see, starting from C-U-M-I, P-M-T with a minus, right? Minus C-U-M-I, P-M-T. And first variable will be almost same as P-M-T function, okay? And so we're starting with the D7, which is the interest rate, and divided by 12 comma F6 which is total month right there and C4 which is the uh, automobile price or loan amount then it's interesting there's three variables after automobile price something new first one is the first period of this loan scenario, which is number one, right? Starting with one through 36 months, right? So that's why you have one and 36, indicating first period, 36 indicating the last period, okay? Comma, zero. You enter zero for the, uh, for the beginning of the month, and then enter one, for the end of months uh, for, uh, for the payment. So we enter zero, assuming the uh, first of the month. Then you press enter and you got $3,473, which is exactly the same as the difference between total amount and car price. So now we can confirm this amount is correct. And the other one, which is the lowest monthly payment we found, which is 715, is coming from here. That's exactly the same step. You find total amount paid, which is 715 times 60. So that will give us $42,910. Then again, you're going to find the difference between this amount and automobile price. So if you found that, then using CUMI PMT, I want to confirm whether this interest paid we just found is correct, okay? So that's basically what we have. And no, I went through pretty quick, but uh, if you have any questions, let me know.